Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Moonraker Some Grass IPA. Now, at first, we were thinking because of the can art that this one had weed in it or some kind of hemp. Because there's that one beer, the Hemperer, that mm -hmm. we thought this might be trying to mimic. So this uh, doesn't have any weed or hemp in it. This one has a really great looking head on it. Yeah, Look at that say. bony, at creamy bubbles. head. Wow. Like micro bubbles. But yeah, again, with that Moonraker, like typical look, I feel like a lot of their beers display the same sort of characteristic where they're like very lightly colored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Just that. Just really mm -hmm. hazy, but very light in color. It's like golden yellow haze. It's a really good look. I, I, it looks like a refreshing uh, beverage. It doesn't have no weed in it, so let's see what it does smell like. Ooh, it is danky. It does smell piney and it mm -hmm. does smell resinous. Yeah, I'm getting the, the notes of tropical fruits in there. So the pineapple, the mango kind of notes you'll get out of, I think it's Citra and Strata hops that's in this beer. Okay. And some other hop. We've been having a lot of beers with Strata recently. Oh, yeah. For some reason. So like comparing this to the previous Moonraker beer, this smells a lot more forward than the other one did. Mm -hmm. The uh, video, feedback. video feedback, right? Um, this smells definitely a lot stronger, just more forward, more like pronounced in the hop department. Um, so, no, 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 let's dive into this one. Cheers. Wow. Yeah. That Re is. Resinous would be the word. That is, it's not as danky as I thought it would be. I was expecting that like, that that, that solid dankiness that comes from that pine. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that, instead I'm getting like, a ton of tropical fruit, super smooth and creamy head. It is really is creamy. Really good. Yeah, it's really creamy. Uh, this is a 7% mm. IPA, so not too crazy. Some grass. It does give me the impression, and it's not just because of the can art, it, it is very like florally, kind of grassy. Um, so I guess that's probably why they named it Some Grass. Maybe. And it has that like, that that again, it must be something Moonraker does because it has this like creamy and, and also Burial does the same thing. It's got this creamy sort of consistency, um, but it's very hop forward and very uh, pronounced on those hop notes. Like it's, it's like really, really up front. It's really hoppy, but the creaminess kind of fills it out. I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, it's quite crushable. It's 7%, but I could totally see myself drinking a few of these. Yeah. It has just enough to make you feel like you're not just drinking a light beer. But enough but, to satisfy yeah. that craving. If you have that IPA craving, you know, and you want those hops, then it, that's it's all in there. So yeah, Moonraker Brewing, guys, we have had a couple of your things and we like you. We keep getting stuff from you and it keeps, it keeps on impressing. I feel yeah. like this brewery is just one of those breweries out there in the West Coast that like, that that's got it going on. So. Yeah, I gotta tr keep trying more of that Moonraker beer. Yep, that's a good one, I like it. So, uh, in other news, we never heard back from Sam H regarding his prize for the 200 uh, subscriber giveaway, so we're gonna just bust out the laptop and do that now and pick a new winner because what else can we really do? He uh, didn't claim his prize, so we're gonna give it away to the next person here. All right, so here we've got all the um, 200 subscribers that that were here, uh, you know, up until 200, and we're just gonna enable three-step randomness process as per usual, and um, pick a random name. Good luck to everybody. Here we go. Oh, so fast. Very cool. You have won, um, what have you won? So Whatever he... Sam's prize used to be. He has won a limited edition Hardywood Fluffer Nutter, Nutter Barrel Blend. <laughs> it's order. hard to say. Yeah, it's like a tongue twister. Very Fluffer cool Nutter. prize. Yes. It is a blend actually of an Imperial Milk Stout with a barley wine. So that's gonna be interesting. 
aged in bourbon barrels with peanuts, toasted marshmallow, and Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans. Nice job, that man. sounds delicious. Congratulations, thank you for being a subscriber. Um, and uh, yeah, get at us uh, over Facebook Messenger and uh, we'll instruct you on the next steps to verify you and we will send out everybody's prize very, very soon. All right, guys, well, if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.